Unfortunately, our country has a pretty poor track record on electing women to political office. And recently, it has been getting worse, not better. This year, when women have become the subject of campaign issues, many of us are looking around for women to run as the object of political office. Because since 2010, the number of women in Congress has dropped to 17 percent. And the number of women in the state legislatures has declined by nearly 80 seats. That was the first decline in the number of women in office in 30 years. And if women make up 51 percent of the U.S. population and are 56 percent of all voters, why then do we have such an imbalance in Congress? Since the very first Congress, 11,699 people have served in the House or Senate. Of these, 215, that's less than 2 percent, have been women. And 47 of those women were elected or appointed to fulfill congressional vacancies created by the deaths of their husbands. In today's Congress, women hold 90 of the 535 seats. That is 17 of the 100 seats in the Senate and 73 of the 435 seats in the House of Representatives. And of those women in Congress, only 24 are women of color. And there are still four states that have never never had a woman serving in their congressional delegation. I mean, what is up with that Delaware, Iowa, Mississippi, and Vermont? It doesn't look so good for the so-called leaders of the free world. And that's because the United States ranks as 78th in the world in terms of women's national legislative representation. That's barely edging out Turkmenistan. But this could all be about to change. In 2012, it could be the year of the female politician because redistricting has created an opening for new female politicians and research shows that voting patterns in presidential years tend to boost women candidates chances for winning so this could be good news for the nine women running for open senate seats and the six women defending theirs and in the house 67 female politicians are running as incumbents along with 47 congressional newcomers running for open seats so while we don't know if all of those women will get a seat at the congressional table, we do know that this is a year to set a record for the number of women who can actually end up in the U.S. House of Representatives. There have been filing 295 women who have filed so far this year, beating the all-time record of 262. So I'm hoping that number keeps rising. Up 